One nice feature of Microsoft Word is that it helps you illustrate your document. I'm going to use a feature called Smart Art to put an organizational chart in my document. There are other kinds of charts that show relationships between things. This will illustrate the kinds of things that you can do in Microsoft Word. In order to get to that, I'm going to simply click uh, my cursor underneath company structure on my document. I will be on the insert tab and then I will choose in the ribbon smart art. It lists all of the options that are built into smart art. You notice they're categorized by different kinds of types of art. I'm going to click on the hierarchy to simplify the display and then just click on this organizational chart here. I will click on OK. Now it inserted a chart and I can go ahead and type in the information. We'll, let's just do a CEO here and we'll click on this box here. We'll, we'll change this one to manufacturing. We'll take the second one over and this will be sales. And the next one over, let's make this legal. Now, the chart does not fit my organization, so how can I alter it? Well, I'll just click on this one box I don't want, and then I'll right-click, and I'll click on Cut, and it's gone. What if I wanted to add one laterally? Well, I'll, I want one between Sales and Legal. I'll click on the Sales, right-click, do Add Shape. Do I want it after or before? That's horizontally, above or below. Let's do uh, after. So now I have a box after sales. And I can right click on this and do edit text. And <clears throat> uh, let's add another one, another category here, which is um, outside connections. don't need a backspace there and let's say under sales we have uh, we want to create a subcategory I'll right click on that do add shape I'll put below and then right click on it and we'll choose a text maybe we want a domestic okay we'll click on sales again we'll do an add shape add shape below and we right click on that and do edit text and we want international. Okay, so that just gives a simple way that you can change the charts. Now the other thing you can do, if you know that up here you have a style bar, you can change the styles of the chart. I can click on the down arrow and I have all kinds of options. I can also change the colors in the chart for different kinds of accents. So we can pick a blue, we can, let's go to this one here. And there are all kinds of variations. I can click on the entire graphic and resize it, scale it to whatever I like. And again, when you're scaling, you can click on your layout options to wrap text. Very easy way to insert graphics that will help convey the message in Microsoft Word. When it comes to understanding the flow of responsibilities and work between people and teams, a chart is a great thing to use. And as you've seen, this is a very nice feature that's built into Microsoft Word. You can take a chart, an organizational chart of any kind and style, and you can edit it to fit your particular environment. Again, if you find this lesson useful, we'd like to ask you here at the Sharper Turtle to like us, leave any comments you wish, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.